Nice. Nice. Hi guys, how are you? Today we'll talk about some grammar structures. Today we'll talk about present tenses. As you know, present tenses has four structures. First of all, present simple, present continuous, present perfect, and the present perfect continuous. So, firstly, we'll talk about present simple. What does it mean by we use if you use present simple? So, it means our current habits to talk about how often things happen with us, permanent situations, general facts, and states. For example, if I say, I always try to drink a coffee in the morning. If we say, I always drink coffee in the morning. So, by this meaning, this action will happen again and again. Uh, what I mean? Every day. Every day in the morning. But when it comes to, I am drinking coffee, this means I'm currently drinking coffee. Or we'll use present continuous for uh, increasing and developing situations. For example, the population of country or the population of the world is rising. Or the temperature of the earth is rising also. In that kind of situations, we'll use present continuous. So, please, note the difference between these tenses. Present simple and the present continuous. In permanent situations and uh, happens again and again or current habits, we'll use present simple. But when it comes at the time of speaking, we may do something, we'll use uh, present continuous. For example, as I said, I am drinking coffee means I'm drinking coffee. But I drink coffee every day. I always drink coffee every day. I drank, I drank yesterday. I drink today and I will drink tomorrow. That kind of thing, guys. We don't sleep when the sun goes down. We don't waste no precious time. Okay, guys, there are two remaining tenses present perfect simple and the present perfect continuous. Now we'll see the difference between these tenses. By saying the present perfect simple, we'll watch some kind of actions or series that started in the past and still true until now. So, or a series of actions which started in the past and the initial time, initial moment was not mentioned. We'll use some uh, present perfect simple tenses. For example, if I say, I have drank a cup of coffee, that means uh, I drank it and uh, there is some coffee on my uh, cup, for example. And when it comes, um, present perfect continuous, we'll see, I have been drinking a cup of coffee for 10 minutes. That means I have already started drinking this coffee 10 minutes ago and I'm still drinking it okay uh, if I say I have a machine which helps me to make a coffee and uh, I have been using it if I say yeah you know I have already bought this kind of machine for example four or five years ago but still I am using it if I say in present perfect continuous I should say I have been using this machine for making a coffee for 10 years for example and if you have already realized these differences between or among these sentences or among these structures, present simple, present continuous, present perfect, and the present perfect continuous, this all helps us to make our uh, sentences much more easy and helps us to give our own opinions. And now let's watch the forms of these all structures present simple present continuous present perfect and the present perfect continuous we don't sleep when the sun goes down we don't waste no precious time present simple so in um, in an affirmative uh, sentences we'll use subject plus verb one this is the most successful way of saying present simple or this is the positive 
but when it comes the negative sentences we should use do or does plus not plus verb one this is the negative form of present simple so this is negative okay and when it comes to interrogative which means if we ask someone to do something for example do you like coffee yes i do we should we should say do or does plus subject plus verb one this is interrogative so when we use some pronouns with he or she or it we should use s or es after these verbs for example i may say i always drink coffee but if i say my brother my brother drinks coffee okay so when it comes when it comes present continuous okay present continuous present continuous so the form of present continuous is like this subject plus m is r plus verb four that means verb ing okay if we say drink this is equal to drinking so when we say the negative form of like this we should write m is r plus not plus verb ing this is a negative form of using present continuous for example i am not reading a book i am not reading a book guys so m is r plus subject plus verb ing this means the interrogative form of present continuous is she reading a book yeah is he reading a book or is he drinking a cup of coffee like this so but when we use some tenses with present perfect present perfect it's like this subject plus have has plus verb three for example i drank coffee that means i drank drunk coffee for example already so it's like this i don't want to write some negative and interrogative forms of present perfect because it is just like this if we say some negative forms we should just say subject have has plus not plus verb three but when it comes to interrogative form or present perfect we should say have has plus subject plus verb three do you know verb one verb two verb three and the verb ing for example do like like this do this is verb one did that is verb two done that is verb three and doing so that is verb four so guys uh, the one sentence structure which is present perfect continuous like this we should uh, make the form of this i want to tell you about not right so subject subject plus have has plus been plus verb four not verb three so like this so look at that and subject plus have has plus been plus verb ing that is a form of present perfect continuous this is a short form of writing which is specialized just for me and present perfect continuous we should just use like this. Yeah. Yeah. 
For example, guys, I have been drinking a coffee for 10 minutes. All of the uh, structures, all of the tenses has their own special um, time phrases. For example, we'll use always, never, frequently, seldom, rarely, occasionally, that with this present continuous. Now, today, this weekend, this day, at the moment, right now, for this one. So, just already, yet, still, with this one. So, when we use present perfect continuous, we just um, say two common time phrases. Since and for. Our time has finished now, guys. Let's uh, watch this video. And if it would be helpful or useful to you, I will be, I will be really grateful by your comments if you comment on our post below. So, please share this video with your friends and uh, learn English by heart. We'll all wait you all. I always... I wait you all in our lessons at the center and uh, we'll achieve a great success with you. So, great guys! See you soon and in the next video we'll talk about the, the past tenses. Okay, great. Waking up for teenage crime.